Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. I'm Megan. I'm Katie. And we are half of Swish and Flick Podcast. Um, but today, this morning, we are gonna take advantage of our early park admission because we're staying at Royal Pacific Resort. And we're gonna show you the magic spots around Universal Studios. So this is in Diagon Alley. Yes. Maybe we'll venture over to the other side and just do all of them at nine. But yes. right now we're gonna do the ones over in Diagon Alley. Let's go. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel um, so that you get notifications whenever we post another video. Yes. And just are we? No, sometimes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, hit subscribe. If you hit that little bell, you'll get a notification when we post a new video. The music's really loud. Bye. Okay, so the other day when we were here... You almost hit me in the eye with your wand. Sorry. The other day when we were here, we went to Ollivander's. Katie got chosen. You may have seen the vlog already. But I wanted to let you guys know that you cannot come to Universal Orlando and bring a wand that you purchased just like on Amazon and expect to be able to do magic because it's not as magical as the ones that you can buy here. Um, but in all honesty, these wands are different. There is um, a little sensor at the end that allows you to be able to do the magic. So unfortunately, you have to buy a wand here in order to do it. They are $55 plus tax. They're only like, I think it might be like $54.95 or something like that, but... It's like 5 to $10 more than a normal one. It's only $5 more than a normal one, for sure. Um, so you have to get one from here with the little sensor. And it, they will give you a map as well. I was thinking we could stop at Ollivander and see if they have any extra maps that we could use so that we could show it. Um, so yeah. Fun fact, a lot of people literally walk right past Diagon Alley and have no idea that they even did. Why? Because you literally have to go through the brick wall. Because look, if you're not sure where you are, there is a leaky cauldron sign right over there. Now here's the brick wall. Let's go tap it. drawer of maps in case you lose it or forget it or destroy it so these maps come with your wand in the box and here we'll show it to you okay so you can see here this says Hogsmeade flip it over for me and this is Diagon Alley so depending on which way you open it there's two different maps so let's open Diagon Alley so this is all of the magic spots that you can do Nocturne Alley is here. So let us, let's start, I think that we could just go this way and it will kind of be a circle. Yeah, we're right by this one. We are right by Tarantelegra, Tarantelegra, Harry Winkle's Playthings. Let's do it. Found it. So there's a marker on the ground that'll tell you the spell and the movement that you need to make. So you want to stand pretty close to it. So we made the trolls dance. Flim Flam Incendio. Here's Flim Flams. We just have to find the marker on the ground. Okay, so next up is going to be the umbrella sign, Metallio J. 
He's not talking, so I wonder if he's not working. Might not be, but usually the flooper is singing and you have to silence him. He's sleeping with his eyes open. Creepy. We'll come back. It just started going. harder to like realize when you actually do it. He'll just make like a little squawking noise and stop singing for a second. What's this one? So, Specialis Rebellio is sort of a hidden one. And it is by Wiseacres. What's this? Acres here, Scribblest. is right behind us here. But you can do it on both sides of the fountain. Yes.
light spots within Nocturne Alley that you can use to look at this. So we're going to start back here and go to Trackleshank's Locksmith and do Alohomora first. And then we will also do Tallow and Hemp Toxic Tapers and do Incendio first. Yes. Chimney sweep right now. Okay. Chimney sweep elf sign. Locomotor chimney sweep. Which is right here. Don't let the moments get you down. <laughs> <laughs>